Greetings and salutations, my great friends. Welcome back to Hey You Get Out of the Porta Potty, a brand new series that Kaylee and I are calling Your Best Year Ever. Your Best Year Ever. 2020 provided all sorts of amazing challenges. Glad you made it through. Glad you're here with us. We want 2021 to be your best year ever. So let me ask you a question. If I could give you a magic button and you could hit the button and you would become the greatest version of yourself, would you hit it? And I'm sure pretty much everyone's head is nodding in agreement. Yes, I would hit this button. Well, we want this series to be that button that you hit and you watch every week and you live out the dream for your life, the essential purpose of your life, which is to become the greatest version of yourself. I promise you it's the only way that life will ever make sense if you live from the perspective that you are meant to become the greatest version of yourself. Now I've been coaching people for 20 years. And a lot of the times they want to get a coach and they think to themselves, man, I can't possibly add another thing to my schedule, but I'll give it a shot because I want to become the greatest version of myself. And what I tell them all along is, I said, becoming the greatest you is not going to be a bunch of things that you need to do. Granted, there will be a few, but more often than not, it's things you need to stop doing. When I began studying personal development long ago, becoming a coach long ago, I really would take a lot of time and I would study biographies of famous people. And it was amazing as I was studying these biographies of famous people, I kept seeing one trend come up time and time again. Oprah Winfrey, Joel Osteen, Don Miguel Ruiz, Colin Powell, etc., etc. They all had this common thread that they said the greatest skill they ever learned in their life was learning to say no. It was learning to say no. And I remember being blown away by this. And one of the things I now teach my clients is how to say no. But before I teach you how I teach my clients how to say no, so that you can have your best year ever, so that you can become the greatest version of yourself, I'd like to share a story. And it's a story that I think you can find yourselves in. In sixth grade, I began middle school at Teague Middle School. And it was quite a culture shock for me to go from a neighborhood elementary school to a really huge public middle school with thousands of students. And I had always loved history, but my history teacher that year would commonly tell me that I asked very stupid questions and the class would make tons and tons of fun of me. And I really kind of went on the journey of getting my first F that I had ever gotten in my entire life in a subject that I traditionally loved. But the important part of the story is my mom got wind that there was going to be this huge Greek festival at the end of the year. And you could get an A if you wore a toga to school, a B, I don't remember what you dressed up as, but you could get a triple A if you went as an Athenian soldier. Now, of course, my mom loved me and she wanted me to get the AAA and she went to work on my outfit. Now, the whole time, sixth grade, I just kept thinking to myself, I get beat up every day at school, I get told I ask stupid questions at school, and I would get called these names every day uh, that are very politically incorrect. One started with an F and one started with a G and the second word was boy. So you can imagine what these words were. Now the important part of this is my mom was bound to determine I was going to get to AAA and I was going to dress up as the Athenian soldier. End of story. And I felt completely 
powerless to say no. And this outfit, and I've been asking my parents to dig up a picture because they do acknowledge it exists. It involved in sixth grade, me going to school, wearing a brown skirt, a skin tight gold shirt, like skin tight, sleeveless gold shirt, and then a little red beanie cap, and then a cape, and I had to wear sandals and carry a wooden spear. And I just wanted to say no so badly. And I love my parents. I love them dearly. But at the end of the day, it was, you're wearing the Athenian uh, warrior outfit. End of story. You're getting the AAA. You're not doing good. This is what you're wearing. And I will never forget standing at the bus stop that morning and being made fun of, being called the G-boy, being called F in the last two letters or OT, having things thrown at me all day. But hey, I got the AAA. So that's all that really mattered. None of the massive damage that was happening to me. And I remember, because I believe a reflective life is a very effective life. And I remember going through life and then I would get in dysfunctional relationships and I wouldn't think I had the power to say no. And then I would have people in my life encourage me to do things that weren't definitely in alignment with me becoming the greatest version of myself and me feeling powerless to say no. And it just created massive amounts of dysfunction in my life when I lost that ability in my own mind to say no. So as you embark on 2021 and you want to live your best year ever, you've got to learn to say no again. You've got to learn that everything is a choice again. And you've got to say no to things that don't help you become the greatest version of yourself. Be it substances, be it food, be it relationships, be it whatever. You want to be the greatest version of yourself in 2021, you want to live your best year ever in 2021, it's not going to be a whole laundry list of things you need to do. It's going to, at the end of the day, being able to say no to the things that don't help you get there and subtracting all the things and people and habits and substances that don't help get you there. So in 2021, you got to learn to say no. And here's how I get my clients to do it. The first thing my clients and I do is we dream and we imagine what a brighter future in their lives could look like. And then we pick anywhere from one to three to four dreams to work on together. And then I introduce them deeply to that philosophy of being the greatest version of yourself. And, and I kind of let them define it in their own words. And then we do something called the priority exercise and I find out what's really important to them in their lives. So then I say bingo. Now, now you know how to say no. And I teach them something I call the decision making matrix. You ask yourself, does this help me to be the greatest me? If it doesn't, you say no to it. If it's not on your priority list and people, you cannot have more than three to five priorities in your life. And even then you need to identify what's the number one priority. If it's not on the priority list, you gotta say no to it. And then you have these dreams and you deserve to live the life of your dreams. If the decision you're about to make doesn't help move you closer to your dreams, you need to say no to it. If it doesn't help you be the greatest you, say no. If it's not on your priority list, you say no. If it doesn't help move you closer to a dream, you say no. You think back in your life to when I was in sixth grade and I was made to dress up as an Athenian soldier. At some point in all of our lives, we forget how to say no, and that no is a complete sentence. And when you say no, you don't owe anybody an explanation. No means no 
2021, for the rest of your life, say no to everything that doesn't help you live your best year ever. We'll see you on Friday. Thank you for saying yes to our channel. Always remember to say no to anything that does not help you become the greatest version of yourself. Dad and I are here to help you. Please like, subscribe, and share.